Hello, it's teacher Neil again and today we will be learning about weather and all kinds of vocabulary and phrases and sentences that can help you for the speaking section of your IELTS test. Now, please follow me and practice so that when you get asked questions such as what kind of weather do you like or what is the weather like in your country, then you can describe your feelings with perfect vocabulary to truly describe what you really want to express. Right, let's get started, shall we? First, we will be looking at hot weather. Now, anyone can say, oh, I like, I like hot weather or I don't like hot weather, but there are many different ways to say hot. Let's take a look. These words are words that express very, very hot kinds of weather. You can say, in my country, it is boiling hot. Now boil, just think about water that gets very hot and starts to bubble. And we say it is boiling water. So boiling hot means super hot. Just remember that. Sweltering is another way to say extremely hot, but sweltering is a very British kind of word. If you use the word, in my country, the weather is sweltering hot, then a lot of Americans might not understand what you are talking about. It is a very, very British expression. Another word we can use, and this is now a noun, just remember that. These are adjectives, a sweltering day or a boiling hot day. A scorcher is a noun. So we can say, oh, today was a scorcher. A scorcher, of course, means super, super hot. Another word you can use is a sizzler. Now, sizzler is also a British word. So, sizzler is also a noun. So, like the Americans can say, oh, today has been a scorcher of a day. The British people will say, oh, today has been a sizzler of a day. Just remember, if you don't understand the word sizzle, just think about a pan. If you're going to put a beef patty inside of the pan, it will make a sound like tss, and that means sizzle. So we can say and use as a noun, oh, today has been a sizzler. Moving on, the next word we have is mild. Mild is not so hot. Mild is a lot more medium. So let's just write here medium. Mild is not so hot, but a little bit hot. So we'll just say a little hot. So we can say, oh, the weather has been very mild today. Oh, the weather is so mild. Next word we have is humid. Now what humid means, humid means wet heat wet heat. So what that means is when you go outside it will be hot but it is not from the sun that comes down on you. It is actually just the water in the air that makes it more hot. So even in humid weather if you sit outside under a tree you will still get hot and the sweat will come out. So we can say humid weather is very sweaty weather. So a sentence you can use is, oh, today has been so humid or I do not like humid weather at all. I am sweating so much. I am sweating from the humidity. Humidity, of course, is the noun. Humid is the adjective. Another word we can use is warm. Warm is very similar to the word mild. So let's just put them together like that. Warm means not so 
hot. So we can say, oh, today was very warm, or it is warm, but it is not boiling hot. Or we can say, it was not a scorcher today, but it has been warm outside. Next up, we have a heat wave. Now, what a heat wave is, just remember when you look at the word wave, it means like in the ocean, the waves will come up and go over your body. So, a heat wave means that there is a lot of heat that is not common and it doesn't come so often, but in the weather it will show that a heat wave, a big source of heat, is coming into your country for one day or two days and now it is much more hot than usual. So you can say, oh, a heat wave has hit my country and now it is boiling hot. All right. Next, moving on, we have sunny spells. Spells, if you're not sure what that means, spells is the same as the word periods, and that means short time. So sunny spells means it has been sunny a little bit, a little bit here, a little bit here. So a good sentence that we can use is, it has been raining for a whole week, but there has been a lot of sunny spells, meaning that there have been periods or short times of the sun coming out. So, in conclusion, when using the heat and hot vocabulary words, when someone asks you, uh, what is the weather like in your country? You can say, well, sometimes it is boiling hot. Sometimes a day can be a scorcher of a day. Sometimes you can say, Oh, well, sometimes it's very hot, but sometimes it is very mild. Although it is mild, it is still very humid. So if you walk outside a lot, you will sweat. Another one we can say is, what is the weather like in your country? Hmm, it is warm, but sometimes there can be an occasional heat wave, and then it will be boiling hot. And sometimes you can say, well, it rains a lot, but there are always sunny spells. Right. Now, moving on, we will go to cold weather and vocabulary that can express our feeling and go deeper into detail about how cold it really is. You can say, oh, it's cold in my country, but there are different levels of cold. Let's take a look. First, we have the word chilly. Chilly means a little bit cold, not very cold. Maybe we can say, oh, it is chilly in the winter in my country, but usually it's hot. So chilly just means a little bit, just like, just a little bit chilly. <laughs> Moving on, freezing. Now, you all know the word freeze. Freeze means it will turn into ice. So that means, of course, that it is very, very super cold. So let's just write here, super cold. So we can say, oh, in Europe, it can be freezing cold in the winter. Oh. It is so freezing cold, I thought I was going to die. So, just remember, freezing means it is very, very, super, extremely cold. Just remember that. Moving over, we have frosty. Now, once again, take a look. F-R, F-R. It still means the same thing. Freeze and frost. So, frost is usually when water turns to ice. And the word frosty is um, a lot more British. 
It is a lot more of a British word. So, British people will say, Oh, it has been a frosty morning. Oh, it was a little bit chilly, but it was not frosty. All right. So frosty also means very cold, extremely cold. When you wake up in the morning and you look outside, there is frost on the grass. So freezing and frosty is super cold. Moving on. Let's go to number four. See your, let me fix that up. See your or see my breath. Now, I'm sure you can understand what that means. If it is very cold and you breathe and steam comes out. So, of course, see my breath is steam. Steam, of course, comes from hot water. So, see your breath means it is so cold that when your breath, which is hot, comes out in a very cold area, you can see your breath coming out. So, usually, see my breath will be used in a very cold place. You can say, oh, this morning it has been so cold that I could see my breath even in my room. My room was so chilly. Going over to number five, we can look at the word bundle up. Now, bundle up once again is a very British word. And bundle up means, look at my body, it is to bring your body together to make it more warm. So we can say bundle up is wrap body and you can use your arms or you can use a blanket or you can use clothes, but it just means to wrap your body to be more hot because it is so cold. A good example of a sentence that we can use for that is, Oh, it was freezing in my room today, so I bundled up all of my blankets and I bundled up all my clothes together so that I would not be so cold. All right. In conclusion, when using the cold weather vocabulary, we can say, What is the weather like in your country? Or, Another good sentence would be, what is the weather like in your country during the winter? Then you can say, oh, in my country, the winter can be a little bit chilly, but it is not freezing cold. It is not frosty in the morning, but sometimes when it is really cold, I can see my breath. And right now we will be describing snowy weather. A lot of useful phrases and vocabulary that you can work, use to fully express how the weather is. We'll start with the word blizzard. Now, what a blizzard is, a blizzard is a big snowstorm. So we'll just write here snowstorm. So almost think of a big rainy storm, but instead of rain, it is snow. So you can use the expression, for example, oh, there was a big blizzard and now the airports are all closed. Next, we have the word flurry. Flurry means a lot of snow very quickly. So flurry, let's just say a lot, very quickly. So we can say yesterday there was a flurry of snow and now the roads are closed because of all the snow. Speaking about snow, let's look at the word hail. Now hail is not snow. Hail is frozen water. So sometimes in some places it will rain but the weather is so cold that the water will freeze and the hail can sometimes be very hard and hit your head. Sometimes the hail can be very big or it can be very small. So we could use the sentence, there was a big hailstorm today and a big hail drop hit my car. 
and now I am upset. Moving on, we have the word sleet. Now what sleet is, sleet is partially, partial, partial means a little bit, partially melted snow. So sleet is almost like wet snow. So sometimes when the weather gets a little warmer, the snow will melt a little bit and we will say it is sleet. So we can use the sentence, oh, there is a lot of sleet on the road. So be careful before it freezes or it can be very slippery. Moving on, we have the word frost. Frost means it is fro hold on, frozen water. And usually frost will occur on a window or on the grass. So I'll write here window frost, F for frost, or grass frost. So we can use the sentence, it was so chilly this morning that there was frost all over my window. Right. Moving on, we have the word slush. Now slush is a very interesting word because sometimes you can, at movie theaters in America, drink a slushy drink. A slushy drink means it is wet or water with a lot of ice inside. So it is more melted than sleet. So slush is like water with some ice inside. So usually people will use that word for the drink. Oh, the ice has melted and now it is just a lot of slush. Or I like to drink slush drinks when I go to the movie theater. Moving on is the word icicle. Right. Now an icicle, I'll draw a picture for you so you can understand. A icicle is a piece of ice that looks like this. Sometimes an icicle can be very dangerous, but icicles are usually water drops that drop, 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 and over time has started to freeze like this. So you could say, oh, it was snowing so much last night, but today it's a little warmer, so on my roof there are a lot of icicles. All right. So, when the examinator asks you, what is the weather like in your country? You can use sentences like, oh, sometimes in my country we can have big snow blizzards and a flurry of snow can come. We can also use the sentence like, sometimes in my country it can hail a lot. Sometimes in my country there is frost on the windows, sleet on the roads, and slush on the sidewalks. And we can also say, in my country it can get so cold that sometimes icicles hang from the roofs. Now, we will be looking at vocabulary that can describe cloudy and windy weather. Now, let's first start with the word overcast. Overcast means that the sky is very dark. So let's use the word dark and no light. And usually that will come from the clouds. So you can use the sentence when someone asks you, what is the weather like in your country? Oh, sometimes it can be very overcast and you can't see the sky. Moving on, we have the word clear weather. Clear weather means there are no clouds. Let's write here, no clouds and that the sky is very blue. So clear usually means very good and also we can see clearly. All right, moving on, we have the word gloomy. Now gloomy is also a British word and gloomy usually means very dark. Let's write here dark and also very sad. So that means when you use the word gloomy, Oh, sometimes the weather in England can be so gloomy 
That means that there is no sun, and it is very depressing. All right. Moving on, we have the word breeze. Breeze is used to describe the wind, and a breeze usually is not a strong wind. It is a light wind. So usually a breeze is very nice, or we can say it is very pleasant. You can use the sentence, "It was very hot today, but there was a nice little breeze, and that made it so much better." Moving on, we have a gale. Now a gale is a very, very big wind. Very big wind. Your hair is flying everywhere. So we can say super. Super strong wind. Oh, today there was a huge gale. My clothes, my umbrella, my things were flying everywhere. And of course, we have windy. Windy means, well, let's just say between a breeze and a gale. Windy is medium or in the middle. So let's just say. Medium wind. All right. So ways we can use cloudy and windy weather. Let's use the sentence for example. What is your favorite kind of weather? You could say, Well, I like a little breeze when it is hot, but I don't like windy weather and I hate big gales. You can also say. Oh, in my country it's very hot, but sometimes it is overcast, and I like that. But I do not like gloomy weather because it is very sad and very depressing. Now, we will be talking about rainy weather. When someone asks you a question like, "Do you like rainy weather?" or "Does it rain a lot in your country?" We can use these words to express how we really feel. Let's look at the first word: gentle or light rain. So, as the word suggests, it is very little. Let us write here: little, gentle, light rain. You can say, "I like a bit of light rain," or "The rain was very gentle today, so it did not bother me." Moving on. We have the word drizzle or spit. These words will describe, let's say, more medium amounts of rainfall. So we can here write medium rain, and you can use it in a sentence. For example, today there was a little drizzle. So drizzle, remember, is a noun. Or you can use it as a verb. And say it drizzled a little bit today. So drizzle, remember, is medium. Moving on, we have the word thunder, and thunder means there is a lot of big noise. You know, it is dark clouds, and also boom. Let's just write here a boom sound. Just remember, thunder is the sound, and when you see this, it is lightning. So you can say, "I don't like thunder; it can scare me so much." But I like a little drizzle. Moving on, we have the word downpour. So just think of the word pour. Pour is like water; you pour. Down, so a downpour, or we can say it is pouring down today, means a lot of rainfall. So we can just say a lot of rainfall. So you can say today there was a big downpour, and I am so soaked. Soaked means. Something is very wet, so we can just write here "very wet," and we can say "my hair is soaked" or "my clothes are soaked." So I'll just write here "hair," 
and also clothes. So, if someone asked you, do you like rainy weather? You can say, um, I like gentle light rain. I don't like thunder and downpours of rain because I will get so soaked. But a little drizzle is not so bad for me. And that is the end of today's lesson. So, if your examiner during the test asks you questions like, what kind of weather do you like? Then you can use these sentences and these phrases to really express how you feel. And if you want to learn more or practice more, you can go to bestmytest.com for a lot more videos. And if you like it, maybe leave a comment. I'm teacher Neil. Thank you very much.